In these hills lived Gaidinliu, a Naga spiritual and political leader who led a revolt against British colonial rule in India. Born on 26 January 1915 at Nankau, a Rongmei village in Manipur, Gaidin Liu was the third daughter of Lothunang and Karodlen Liu. Rani Ma, as she is known with respect and affection, had humble beginnings. At an early age, she came under the influence of Hepu Jadunang, the leader who launched a religious movement that sought to reform the Zeliongrong Naga communities. In later years, it was referred to as the Hiraka movement. Not to drink her long either to hold her, they can eat it, they love them, not to let it now. I thought it would not do my. I can now go. Then I will never go. I will say, I did not go my letter. I did not go to the party. They go hot the other day. I can do the corner, don't have a hole. Why do you? After the execution of Jadunong in 1931, Gaidin Liu took up the leadership of the movement for independence. G. Gaidin, President of the Jelengong Nagar Rani Kaiden Liu identified her people's struggle with the wider Indian National Movement. For her, the Naga or Manipuri people's journey to freedom was part of India's wider movement for freedom. She also spread the message of Gandhiji in the Manipur region. <laughs> After her sentence to life imprisonment, Rani was kept in Guwahati jail for one year. She was then transferred to Shillong jail, where she spent the next six years. From Shillong, she was moved to Azol. At the time of the Japanese invasion, she was moved to Tura jail. At the Haripura session in 1938, Jawaharlal Nehru persuaded the members to pass a resolution demanding the release of Rani. Subhash Chandra Bose, president of the Haripura Congress, moved the resolution. <laughs> She was finally released in 1947 
when India attained freedom. Dr. Rajendra Prasad visited Manipur in 1954. He met Rani Gaidendu at Impal. She told him about her constructive work and social service among the Nagas. One of her significant contributions was the efforts to strengthen the Hiraka cult. The Hiraka religion is a pure reformed religion of the Zilong Grong people. The aim of Hiraka is to bring good and prosperous life to men and women individually and collectively through the grace of God. Their emphasis on tradition, customs and religious practices are cherished by the followers of Hiraka. The Hiraka cult keeps alive the spirit, message and epistle of its founder and most widely known proponents like Jajunan and Rani Gaidindu. The significance of Hiraka goes well beyond the borders of Nagaland and Manipur and is of continuing relevance to all Indians. Rani Ma was laid to rest on 17 February 1993. And uh, she was so devoted to the cause of the Jalialong. Jalialong may them talam ko paina karoni khud nae puyare. And the sincerity and devotion that I saw, and the way he, he spoke, she met, discussed with me, and then ultimately she blessed me also. Kamari na karoni khud na karoni step na. And then when I came to Manipur in 1989, 1989, perhaps in July, the first congratulating me, it was from Ranima, that I have come here, that's from The lifespan of Rani Gaidenliu overlaps with great shifts and upheavals in the local, national and global context. Above all, her life of struggle and her integrity marked her out as a figure we should all learn from and who can still inspire positive values in public life. British Rui Tinkum Rupadai Nanta Nimlaut He 
นางลุงเขามีตวงพ่วมขังคันนี้ไม่กล้วยแต่ตะบุยนิ่งโลกันบอกปันดิตเฮรูรุยนังตาไทยเราดัดไม่ตังรุยก็ไม่นังลำคออากุมสีนาซาโลตาโลกันตรงโจอาตาวทั่วไปนางให้กันถ่ายไกลเท่อาตาวเท่าดันไหมเอาเราโน้นเขาตะบุยชาโลนีบ่ตะบุยตานเส้นอะไรดูนีบ่จะถูกไอ้นักตัวเด็กชาโลนีได้ถูกเด็กชาโลนีเหตุเด็กเราก็ไม่ทำตัวนักตัวเขาตัวนั้นไอ้จ้าถึงนักตัวมาเออคนนี้นักก็After the interview, a dinner was given by Ranima as a reception to the team of Jillian Wrong Research Society. โอ้คุณให้ตัวตัดตั้งแต่ถึงนี้นะครับตัวคิดคิดไปทุกที่เลยไม่มีไม่มีไม่มีไม่มีไม่มีRanima passed away on 17 February 1993 at the age of 78. 
A condolence meeting was held at Majorkul Community Hall, Majorkul Infal, on 20th February 1993. Various VIPs and officers of the state pay homage to Ranima and deliver speeches on the occasion. I am deeply grieved to learn of the set that I did know. Rani Gaidudu was one of the most prominent freedom fighters of Northeast India. Her services to the people of the Northeast and of in particular, for which she was awarded at Tamra Patra in 1972 and Padma Bhushan in 1981 will be long remembered. I convey my heartfelt concern. His Excellency Chintamani Panigrahi, the then governor of Manipur, also attended in her funeral service all at Longkau village. Family members and uh, all the your students' union and other unions who are present. Um, I did not know how I need to reach this place, but uh, uh, the moment I got the news, uh, then I was thinking that uh, I must have a last glimpse of uh, this great freedom fighter of our country. I hope uh, what could not be fulfilled during Ranima's time, 
लेटर ट्राई फॉलो हर पाथ एंड लेटर सी दैट हर दी दैट आर फुल्फिल आई एड मेड इन हर दैट सी वाज अ ग्रेट नेशनलिस्ट एंड एट द सेम टाइम सी वाज फाइटिंग फॉर द कॉल्स ऑफ हर पीपल एंड वन थिंग ऑलवेज सी स्टॉप टू दैट पाथ ऑफ फाइंडिंग सॉल्यूशंस एज अ नेशनलिस्ट थ्रू डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस so i now think that one of uh, uh, the dreams in my life uh, it so happened that i am in manipur and it so happened that i could come to see rani ma uh, when she stand the government manipur all of us and we are uh, we went to rani ma mani pray for sandeep cha janan salo
In these hills lived Gaidinliu, a Naga spiritual and political leader who led a revolt against British colonial rule in India. Born on 26 January 1915 at Nankao, a Rongmei village in Manipur, Gaiden Liu was the third daughter of Lothonang and Karotlen Liu. Ranima, as she is known with respect and affection, had humble beginnings. At an early age, she came under the influence of Hepo Jadonong, the leader who launched a religious movement that sought to reform the Zelyongrong Naga communities. In later years, it was referred to as the Hiraka movement. By the late 1920s, British officials began to view the political underpinnings of the movement with deep suspicion, as they saw it as undermining their authority. After the execution of Jadonong in 1931, Gaiden Liu took up the leadership of the movement for independence. <laughs> Uh, Rani Kaiden Liu identified her people's struggle with the wider Indian national movement. For her, the Naga or Manipuri people's journey to freedom was part of India's wider movement for freedom.
Thank you.